Well, I'm sure others have already done this, and I've not looked to see because I like to make my own tests and not be biased by others. We have a lot of foam jets that are flyable, albeit they have plenty of 100 mile an hour tape on them, <laughs> as they get beat up pretty bad in winds and cold weather when we fly here in the winter too. They're not much heavier than a foam cooler lid, and if you ever chased one of those down, you'll probably know what flying one is like. So my F-22 Raptor seems to be the choice for my experiment today. And remember, this is just the simplest way I figured I could do it, and this is the first flight. See, the deal with jets is the exhaust comes out the back and there's no air being blown over the surfaces. So if you're not going fast enough, the surfaces don't work very well. So in the case of this F-22, this is my poor man's way of making my own thrust vectoring. So when I go really slow, this should vector the thrust and help me a little more. I can't wait to give it a shot and try it. Well, applying the KISS theory, I used a push rod tube and a small piano wire to make the hinge move freely. The material is just foam board from Staples, and using the elevator servo, either side's okay, just simply connect the rod to the lower hole and run it to the control horn in the elevator. I made it by electric gluing a servo output arm into the foam board with an electric glue gun and then holding it while the push rod was connected until it cooled while it was exactly at neutral. Okay, there's no wind blowing across the surface when you run the air, nothing. So it's not going to move. But in this case, with the vector thrust, I should be able to get some pitch movement out of it. So let's spin it up and see what happens. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, let's go try it. I have no idea what to expect or how it's going to fly. Trial. Let's see what happens. Pull a safety pin. Whoa. Whoa. You know, I was asked to fly my old wrapper by a few folks and was also inspired watching it fly at the Sioux Falls Air Show last week. But I wanted to experiment, so keep watching to see what else I do with my Raptor. Whoa! Well, I can tell you, it sure does neat loops, almost in place, but it likes to wallow on the ailerons. I think it's this airplane's wing design. And uh, the beeping here is because I have my cell spy set to go off 3.7 volts. I think I'm going to lower that to 3.5 for the next flights. Well, I was concerned about slow flight, but I find it's very controllable, even with low idle. And uh, the plane, of course, is perfectly balanced. Not. <laughs> Pretty wild. Stay tuned, we're going to try this again. Hey, wait a minute. I wonder if it will fly without an elevator. That would sure end the old argument of which makes the plane go up, the elevator or the engine. In fact, I'm going to connect the ailerons to the elevator so the ailerons and elevators work the same. It won't be elevons, it'll be double set of ailerons. See if this will work. As you can see, I made the rear ailerons move a lot less than the mains just to try it.
Well, I know it's not pretty, but it is strong and a functional prototype. And besides, it might be destroyed in the weeds in a few minutes. What I think I'm going to have to do is run the uh, throttle up so I have some engine all the time. Otherwise, I won't have any elevator. And I have no idea what's going to happen. So uh, let's give it a shot. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can drop it in. <laughs> Holy mackerel! It worked! Okay, well that worked, but my nose wheel steering is still a weak point. I'm going to make it unsteerable and add a vectored rudder thrust to see how that goes. I use the same method of a piano wire inside a push rod tube and use the other free elevator servo connected to the rudder channel, guessing at size and throw. Well, I know prototypes aren't real pretty, especially not mine, but uh... It's strong. Let's go see if it works. Now I have some steering back here, I hope. But I got no nose wheel steering now. Okay, folks, this is all I got. Elevator, coupled ailerons, and I've got some rudder here. Uh, it's good because I've got no nose wheel steering. The weakest thing on this plane has always been the nose wheel. Let's see if this vectored thrust will allow me to steer it on the ground. Here we go. No elevator, look at that. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> wow, it sure rolls nicer. <laughs> See, I don't need no stinking elevator. Thanks for watching and subscribing folks and uh, you know you don't know if you don't try and I tried.